Hello students, today we will talk about uh, the first question of development of surface. The question is related to cylinder. So a cylinder of dia 40 mm and height 50 mm is resting on its base. Develop its literal surface. So let us quickly see what, uh, what is the procedure we have to follow in order to solve the problem of development of a cylinder. Now first of all we have to draw the front view and top view of the given solid. So given solid is cylinder. So if you look at the cylinder from front resting on its base then its front view will be a rectangle and its top view will be a circle. So whenever you are solving any problem related to development of surface the very first step is that you should draw front and top of the given solid. So right now uh, the fr front view will be a rectangle and top view will be a circle for this cylinder. So the diameter of the cylinder is 40. So let us open the compass to 20 millimeters in order to draw its uh, top which is a circle. So place your compass uh, on a particular dot. Let us say this particular dot and uh, draw a circle of dia 40 millimeters. And draw it thick. Okay. After this, what we will do? We will uh, draw XY line above the circle because we are solving it in first angle of projection. So top we will lie below XY line. So let us call this as capital X, capital Y. After this. Uh, Take projections from this particular uh, top view, thin continuous lines in upper direction. Now uh, from this uh, reference line leave some gap, let us uh, say one row gap and align your scale with this particular row and uh, draw a thick uh, line over here in between these two projectors. So this is the bottom face of the cylinder. Height of the slant is mentioned as 50. So let us complete its uh, front view as a rectangle of height 50. So draw two vertical lines of 50 mm. So you see we are ready with the front view of the cylinder. Now after this what we need to do, we need to divide this particular circle into eight equal parts. So for that what you need to do, align your scale with this uh, horizontal row and draw its horizontal diameter, it must be thin. Then align with this column, draw thin vertical diameter. Then we have 4 parts now, we have to divide this further into 8 parts. So use your protector, put your protector at this particular center and align your uh, scale, uh, protector with this uh, horizontal diameter of the circle and uh, draw, mark 45 degree angle on both sides. Then line your scale with this uh, marking and the center of the circle and draw a thin line inside the circle. Similarly line your scale with this marking and the center of the circle and draw another thin line. Now you see we have divided the circle into 8 equal parts. Remember these lines must be continuous thin. Now we call this as generators. These are as generators. So let us name these points on the circle from this particular point in clockwise direction. So let us name this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then from these two uh, points, point number 2 and point number 8, take vertical projector in our direction. So line your scale with these two points and uh, you will find that your scale is in vertical position when you will align with these two points and from this particular point draw a thin line in our direction then from align your scale with point number 4 and point number 6 and when you will properly align your scale with these two points again you will find your scale is in vertical position so from 4 draw a thin projector now so See, when these three, these four lines are outside the views, we call these as projectors. But uh, these two lines inside the front view will be called as generators of the cylinder. Now take one more uh, projector from this, uh, these two points, 3 and 7. And it must be thin. Now let us convert this projector into a center line. 
we should draw a center line over here so follow chain thin line to draw the center line of the front view now this center line also serves as the purpose of generator number 3 and generator number 7 on the surface of the cylinder now we named these points outside the cylinder uh, so we are assuming that these points are at the base of the cylinder so this point labeled over here will be labeled in the front view as well one dash so see we are looking from this side observer is standing this side so you will see a point number eight first two is behind eight so over here we will write eight dash in bracket we will write two dash fine similarly when you look from this side we see point number seven first point number three is behind seven so we will write here seven dash inside three dash uh, three dash should be inside the bracket similarly six dash and four dash should be inside the bracket and this point will be five dash now in case of cylinder the next step is we should uh, uh, find its circumference so next to the top view over here with the help of pencil you will do one calculation circum Friends is equal to 2 pi r so this will be 2 into pi r over here is 20 millimeters so let us see what value we will get from this equation so it will be 125.6 mm now what we will do in order to draw the development of cylinder we need to draw a rectangle whose length will be 125.6 and whose height will be equal to the height of the cylinder which is 50 mm so what is the procedure to draw a linear scale with the base of the front view and draw a thin line on right side we call this as projection line then a linear scale with the top of the cylinder again draw a thin line on the right side this is another projection line or projector now from cylinder leave any gap let us leave two columns gap first column second column and from here draw a thick vertical line which is the first line of the development now what is the length mentioned the length we have calculated for the circumference it is 125.6 so measure this length on the scale 125.6 so 125.6 will be somewhere over here Similarly measure the same distance at the top 125.6 it will be approximate value because you can't measure 125.6 on a plane scale so just mark approximately and draw the second line of the development and join these two points with a thick line at the bottom and thick line at the top so this is the development of the cylinder which is a rectangular sheet the meaning of this is that when we will open the surface of the cylinder and when we lay down that surface on a flat face we will get a rectangular sheet whose length will be equal to the circumference of the cylinder whose height will be equal to the height of the cylinder now in this particular sheet we have to mark a few more things uh, we have to show these generators which we have used we used eight generators over here to show these eight generators inside the development as well so what is the procedure for that you should use uh, uh, your roller scale for this uh, so what you can do at this particular point align your roller scale at any angle uh, this angle should be acute means lesser than 90 degrees so keep it around 10 or 20 millimeters don't measure it just draw a thin line of any length at the start and this can be any acute angle keep it small then uh, if you uh, see we have eight generators over here so we have to divide this development into eight equal parts means we have to show eight generators inside the development as well so for that what we need to do we need to divide this length into eight equal parts so what we will do align your roller scale with this particular length marked by you and make eight divisions equal divisions on this line so right now I am using the length of one division as one centimeter so for me the length of this line will be eight centimeter you see one f every division is of eight one centimeter so the length of this line for me will be eight centimeter because I have marked eight known divisions then with roller scale join this point this particular point to the end of the 
development and draw a thin line over here so last point to the end of the development then you will use your roller scale align your roller scale with this particular line and draw it to the next point on this line and draw a thin line then draw to the next point on the line draw another thin line similarly to the next point and from the remaining points as well means you will draw thin parallel lines so i am doing it without uh, roller scale so definitely i will get errors but you must use roller scale for this purpose now you see what i did i lined my roller scale with this particular uh, line roll your roller scale to the next point and draw the parallel lines now this method will uh, divide this particular length into eight equal divisions fine so these known divisions are transferred here now you see i am not using i didn't use the ruler scale that's why i am getting this uh, division more uh, the length of this division is more than the other division so that is an error so you must use ruler scale so from these points what you should do you should draw thin uh, vertical lines so these will be called as generators so let me correct it as i said i didn't use a ruler scale so i'm getting error so ignore that part of the solution but you must use ruler scale so from these divisions draw thin vertical lines so actually what we are doing we are dividing this development into eight equal parts now you see over here i am getting error this part is slightly bigger than the other part so this should not happen if you will use roller scale for this particular procedure it will not happen fine because you will get exactly parallel lines over here so one more thing to understand this part of the solution and these generators must be very very thin only the development of the cylinder this front view of the cylinder and this circle of the cylinder should be thick now you have to name these generators as well so let us say that we have opened our cylinder from generator number 1 so we will label it as generator first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth generator and remember the last generator will also be one because when you will open the surface of cylinder from a particular generator you will come back to the same point so starting point of the development and the end point of the development will be same so with this we are done with the development of a simple cylinder uh, so what we have to do now we have to place dimensions so first of all we have to place uh, the height of the front view which is uh, 50 mm over here so let us quickly place its height so it is 50 use a lined system if you want or you can use unidirectional system as well so place the diameter of the cylinder uh on the top view of the cylinder so it will be 540 then what next we will do place uh, the length of the development sheet so this will be equal to the circumference equal to the calculation done by us which is 125.6 mm now very important part to understand that uh, after drawing front and top of the given solid you first have to do the uh, calculation for circumference in case of cylinder then you have to construct a rectangle after leaving some gap from the front view and the length of that rectangle will be equal to the uh, circumference calculated by us and then we have to divide that uh, rectangle into eight equal parts because we have divided this uh, cylinder into eight generators so this procedure you should follow so i hope uh, uh, the development of cylinder is clear to you thank you very much